All right, so today we've got a rare, quick, simple, easy unboxing video. Uh, this is the Small Rig 2092B. It's a base plate, and I thought it was a pretty interesting base plate, so I just wanted to show it to you, kind of show you how it works, and explain why I think it's interesting. Uh, we're gonna get it out, show the design, and get it on my rig, just to show you what it looks like on a camera. And there it is. So you got some tools, I'll move those aside. This is the base plate. Now, what I like about this is when you have a relatively compact camera setup, I don't necessarily want this to always be huge. Now it's pretty uh, decently built out, but that's because I have a cinema lens on there, so I have a follow focus, I have the matte box and all that, but I could very easily take the matte box off, take the follow focus off, switch this out for a smaller autofocus Sony lens, and this would be a very compact camera. I don't even need the top handle. So I don't wanna have this huge base plate on there, but uh, I wanna have the flexibility to go back and forth. Sometimes you need rods, so that way you, know, you can have lens support, so you can have a matte box that is rod mounted, even a follow focus that mounts down there. For example, if you don't have one of these adapters like I do from PD Movie. So this here, the 2092B gives you uh, 15, two 15 millimeter rod mounts. It gives you an Arca Swiss plate on the top. And I actually like this because, again, when I break this down smaller, sometimes I do go onto a simple Arca Swiss style ball head if I'm on top of a small slider, for example. So being able to have that plate, which can go from this more cinema style setup to a smaller compact setup, using the same style plate without having to remove anything is really, really useful. But of course, you could then throw a Manfrotto plate or something on the bottom of here, so that way this whole larger setup could sit on top of a stronger, more robust video head, for example. So you kind of can get the best of both worlds there in one system. And the other thing I really like about this is that you'll notice there's this space in between here. With this knob right here, you can loosen that up and then actually raise this higher or adjust the height. So again, uh, for certain matte boxes or things you might need more or less height to your rig. So you can have more height when you need it, but you can also squish this down to a more compact setup when you don't need that. And again, I love that flexibility of being able to have a larger setup or a smaller setup with any kind of functionality here. It's got that quick release plate here for the Arca Swiss. So, boom, you've got that plate right there. I like that. I have this exact, I think, um, maybe exact same plate on a couple of other spots. This is pretty tight, and if it's tight like that, you can use this Allen wrench right in the side of the clamp to loosen this up just a little bit. Um, so I'll probably adjust that. But very nice and simple piece here. You can see all the connections on the bottom. Let's get the camera mounted on here just so you can have that kind of comparative size uh, feel for it. Also, this is the newer lightweight small rig cage for the A7S III. Um, and if you like the design, then I do have a video uh, reviewing it and also comparing it to the original, as well as the Nitsi small rig cage. So if you want to check that out, be sure to check the video description. I'll have a link for that down below. So there you go. You can see the kind of relative size on the Sony A7S III. Uh, fairly compact. I don't have rods in here now, of course. I don't have any need for them at this moment. Um, but, you know, you could see basically the size. And if you loosen this screw up here, you can extend that out and you can see you've got a pretty decent amount of range there that you can extend this below the camera. So if you need a lower uh, rod setup for, again, uh, something like a matte box that's mounted on rods, if you need to throw a lens support uh, bracket or something under there on rods, then you can adjust that exactly how you need. So pretty neat little base plate. I just wanted to kind of show that to you that you see what they had because I've never really seen a lot of people talking about this or using this. I thought it was a cool design. Let me know what you think down below and if this would help you out in your setup. Or if you have any questions about anything else on this rig, please do let me know down there as well. Otherwise, if you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, thank you for watching.